Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's July 29th. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Market Desk. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. Morgan, thanks for being here this week. Uh, thanks, last Mike. week, we said all eyes were going to be on the Fed. The big decision uh, for the July meeting was this week. It was released on Wednesday. And yet, when you take a look at Muni performance, there was a rally both before and after the announcement. How did the, how did the market behave? Thanks, Mike. Um, so I would say that it was definitely a bit slower this week um, with the Fed meeting. We did see Muni's rally. Uh, we saw the 10-year 16 basis points tighter on a week-over-week -week basis, and the 30-year was eight basis points tighter um, on the week as well. We saw you know, positive fund flows this week with inflows of about 235 million, which we saw primarily in long-term funds and high-yield funds but um, definitely a lighter new issue calendar, which I don't think was very surprising, you know, given the meeting. It seems like, um, you know, these types of weeks have definitely been, you know, quieter in the uh, supply front. But despite the lighter calendar, BAM did have a nice week, pricing about 240 million across 10 series in six states. A few deals to highlight here were the 115 million Pinal, Arizona County uh, textbook deal that Stiefel priced. And we did have a credit insight video on this deal earlier in the week online as well, which I wanted to highlight. Um, Wells priced 50 million uh, Indiana County Industrial Development Authority deal in Pennsylvania. And there was a 27 million Green Valley Special Utility District in Texas, which was bought by Huntington Securities. Before we go on to next week, just a couple of interesting things to, to throw in about last week's transactions. Sure, sure. Of course, the Pinal County deal was the first of its kind, uh, BAM Green Star issue. It's uh, related to the Lucid Motors uh, electric vehicle factory in Pinal County. And so uh, it qualifies as a clean transportation transaction under the ICMA Green Bond principles. Um, and on the uh, Indiana uh, County transaction, that was for Indiana University of Pennsylvania, one of uh, Pennsylvania State uh, University's uh, notable institution there. So looking ahead to this week, um, we see the total volume is still relatively low. It sounds like maybe we're moving into the summer doldrums. Uh, what, it, uh, what are you seeing? Definitely. So, you know, slight pickup from this week. Uh, it looks like the estimates as of right now are about four billion, but this is still pretty light calendar, kind of given year-to-date averages. But a few deals that we'll be looking out for. Um, there's a 29 million County of Merced, California deal, and a 21 million Village of Antioch, Lake County, Illinois deal that's going to be priced by RW Baird. So, a couple uh, interesting deals to look out for in kind of the uh, the heat of the summer. Very good. And we will be here next week to, uh, to recap how they went. Thanks for your time. We'll talk to you soon.